Thank you for joining us. With the design completed, the next step is producing the manufacturing data. Since routing is complete, remove the colors of the power and ground nets. Select the color button from the toolbar. Click on the Nets tab and clear all nets. Click OK. Prepare the board for manufacturing. First, move the board within the design window. Select Setup Application Mode General Edit from the menu. In the Visibility tab, set the Global Visibility on. In the Find tab, select All On to ensure everything is selected to move. Highlight the board and click on the Move button. Click to place the board. Change the origin. Select Setup, Change Origin from the menu. Zoom into the bottom of the board. Right click and choose Snap Pick to Segment Vertex. Place the title block for the fabrication and assembly drawings next. Select Place Component Manually from the menu. In the Advanced Settings tab, select Library. Choose Format Symbols from the drop down and select A Size Horizontal. Click to place the title block and close the placement window. To add text, select Add Text from the menu. Select the Active Class to Drawing Format and the Subclass to Title Block. Change the text size to 6. Click the location you would like and type the text. Right click and select Done. Zooming into the board, delete any non-essential text. In the Visibility tab, select Last. Select the text, right click and select Delete. Or use the Delete button on the toolbar. To move the text, click and drag. To rotate, select the text, right click and choose Spin. Change the size of the text for the reference designators. Select Edit Change Object from the menu. Change the text block to 2. Click on the reference designator text. Next, add drill information. Select Manufacture, Customize Drill Table from the menu. Select Validate. Click Auto Generate Symbols and Yes. Close the window. In the Design Workflow, select Manufacture Preparation, Documents, Drill Table. Leave the defaults and click OK to create the drill table. Click to place. Next, create the cross section. In the Design Workflow, select Cross Section Detail. Set the text block to 3. Click OK and click to place. Add dimensions to the board. Select Manufacture Dimension Environment from the menu. Right click. Here you have many options to add and edit dimensions. Select Linear. Click the points you want dimensioned and click to place the dimension. Right click and select Done. Create a subdirectory for all the artwork exported. Select Setup User Preferences from the menu. Select File Management and Output Directory. In the first line, add period backslash artwork. This will create a folder for your exported artwork. Next, set up the films for the Gerber output. Select the color button from the toolbar. Create the fabrication drawing first. To ensure only required layers are selected, click Off for global visibility. In Drawing Format, select All. In Manufacturing, select NC Legend 1-3 through 3 and Cross Section Chart. From Geometry, select Design Outline and Dimension. Click Apply. In the Design Workflow, select Artwork Setup. Right-click in the Film window and select Add. Name the film Fab and click OK. Change the undefined line width to 0.127. This process needs to be completed for all the necessary films. Create the assembly drawing next. Back in the Colors window, in Geometry, select Assembly Top and in Stack Up, select Pin in the top layer. Click off of NC Legend and Cross Section in the Manufacturing tab. In Components, select Ref Des under Silkscreen Top. Click Apply. In the Artwork Setup window, right-click and add the assembly drawing. Change the undefined line width to 0.127. For Silkscreen Top, select Global Visibility Off again. Under Components, select Ref Des in the Silkscreen Top row. From Geometry, select Design Outline and Silkscreen Top. Click Apply. In the Artwork Setup window, right-click to add Silkscreen Top and change the undefined line width to 0.127. Back in the Color window, create the Solder Mask Top Film. From Geometry, select Solder Mask Top and Design Outline. From the Stack Up, select Solder Mask Top and Apply. In the Artwork Setup window, 
Right click to add solder mask top and change the undefined line width to 0.127. Back in the color window, create the solder mask bottom film. Unselect the previous solder mask items. Choose the solder mask bottom from the stack up and solder mask bottom from the geometry and apply. In the artwork setup window, right click to add the solder mask bottom film and change the undefined line width to 0.127. Back in the color window, unselect the previous solder mask items. Choose paste mask top from the geometry and stack up. Click apply. In the artwork setup window, right click to add the paste mask top film and change the line width to 0.127. There is no paste mask bottom in the design, so the necessary films are completed. Close out of the artwork setup and color windows. In the visibility tab, you can view the created films by selection in the drop down. Join us in the next video where we will discuss manufacturing exports.